Now I've had somebody express interest in helibores and asking me questions about them. And um, as in previous videos, you see that we have a large variety, these kind of white ones. And then there's these kind of green, limey green ones. And then over here, we have kind of frilly white ones, which are lovely. And then a whiter version of them here, you can see. So along here are all of these kind of greens and um, uh, greens and creams and whites. So they will self-sew. You can see there's a baby hellebore right there. That's a baby hellebore. There'll be more baby hellebores in here. This is um, Celandine. This is Honesty here. This is Love in the Mist. Ah, here's a baby hellebore. There's a baby one that's probably about two years old. And Inca thinks I'm gonna be digging for dung beetles. I'm not digging for dung beetles right now. Anyway, this is, oh, and there's mustard as well. So, but I want to show you somewhere else where um, I have a lot more seedlings is over here. Under these hellebores, these are the beautiful kind of magenta colored ones. And then over here is a sort of pinky one that is beautiful on the back and the front. But if you look down in here, those are all baby seedlings of hellebores. Now, hellebore seeds are not true to the parent. So those seeds are from this hellebore or this hellebore, but the pollinating process means that this could be crossed with this, crossed with the white ones over there, crossed with the black ones somewhere else. So all of these here could be a mixed pollens of different kinds of hellebores. So you have this beautiful one here and this one which is a sort of a palier pink one and this one with the pink and white and this one here. So you've got, so just in this vicinity, there's three different ones. So those babies could be like all of these or a mixture of them so you just don't know when you have the baby hellebore so i'll dig these up and i'll sow them in other flower beds and over the years they'll grow on the understanding hellebores take a long time these were planted easily 15 years ago so it's taken them 15 years to bush out like that this one here is self-sown down here. So this one is true to its parent, which is probably this one. So that one and this one. It's almost darker, this one. So it's highly likely that those seeds will come up to be looking this color or this color. But you just don't know. They're not true to type. The other thing about hellebore seeds is they will not have a shelf life. When the hellebore seed pouch forms, so there you can see, you can see the seed pouches forming on this one. Those are the seed pouches there. And when they'll mature, the leaves will have fallen off and these things will fatten up and get really, really big. When that occurs, you have to sow the seeds when the shell goes black and it's ready and ripe. They have no shelf life. So you have to sow them straight away. Or you just let them fall down and formulate a batch of seedlings here, which I'll dig up and show you what they look like. I'll dig up some of those now and show them what you'd look like. So you can see there's seedlings also have gotten in amongst these ferns. These are hellebore seedlings and I'm just gonna leave them Here's um, some uh, more seedlings. These are big ones. 
This will be about two or three years old. These are just babies here. This is probably about, uh, this might be two years old. This one will be about three years old because they take a while to mature. Anyway, here are the dug up ones. Yes, hello. No, no, don't squish my seedlings. Thank you, no. Come on. Really? You have to? Oh, come on. You're such a gardener. Oh, look, and another enthusiastic gardener. Come on, guys. Can you, can, I know I kneel on the ground. You think I'm saying hello. Okay. So these are hellebore babies. So that I can go and plant in another location. Or I can plant them into pots and let them mature on and give them as presents to people. So these are, these are all, you can see their baby tap roots. You can see the tap root there. So what I can do now is plant these, transplant these into little pots and give them away as presents, which is probably what I'll do. Knowing that I don't know what they're gonna turn up at like, but a lot of people like hellebores and they don't mind what they turn up like. So we'll see. So there's a whole bunch of baby hellebores. So I'll pot them up now in little pots so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I've dug these up and I've sewn them into these little trays. And hopefully some, are, some have sewn two to a thing because the tap root might not have been as good. But hopefully these will grow on and I can pot them onto a bigger... Are you gonna help? Are you helping? Are you, no, no, don't walk on them. My freshly planted baby hellebores. No, don't stand on them. Oh, she just walked up. Oh, they're walking all over them. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Okay, baby hellebores rescued. Anyway, these are the baby now. Inga, don't walk over them, please. Please, thank you. Yes, you can sit next to them. So hopefully these will grow on and I'll probably do some more of them uh, that I then give to friends when they've grown on a bit because when they're this teeny, they're great to plant out in places and forget about them. But when you give them to friends, they're kind of not very significant. So I let them grow on a little bit before I um, will, I'll pop them up three stages uh, and uh, then give them to friends. So the dogs are having a lovely time. They're doing their race around the uh, patio. Well, they were. Anyway, I have himself here. The loyal gardener. Yes, you good boy. Okay, so those hellebores came from down there and more of those I'll just leave and let them grow. And as you can see, some have self-sown down through here. So this will become, over the years, will become a wash in Hellebore. Uh, so given time, it'll look lovely. Isn't that right? Okay, so those are the seed trays of baby Hellebores and I'll probably be doing more of them.